Right now, the next subject which we want to talk about is very close to everyone's heart and their mouths uh, in this country, which is drugs. It's become very, very serious in Northern Ireland. Well, I personally think so myself. Uh, Jerry Fit, I mean, I want to know, is the problem as severe as the press and the media make out? Well, it is a severe problem. Um, we can't get our fucking hands on them. Uh, no, seriously, it is bad and it's out of control. And I blame the paramilitaries because they are flogging drugs outside schools. Some drug traffickers have even been seen outside nurseries. And uh, then they are, you see. They're making drugs raids one minute and fucking selling them the next. And I don't think the RUC are handing all the uh, drugs in. Um, uh, they're, they're taking them themselves. I mean, I was stopped and strip searched outside the city hall. Fuck, that was a sight to behold. Mind you, I mean, I don't mind saying. I mean, I've tried tablets before myself. I mean, I took two A tablets. And uh, to be honest, they don't fuck all for me. Only cure my head. What do you what What do you mean? A tablets, uh, Lord Fit? What may I ask? Are A tablets? Um, they're anodins. They're in uh, we yellow packets <laughs> over here. Sir Patrick Mayhew, is there evidence to support Jerry Fitz's accusations against the RUC? Are they true? Are they taking illegal drugs? Well, I uh, honestly don't think uh, Mister Fit knows what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, here, uh, the. There, there has been uh, no single uh, complaint brought against the IUC for drug taking. And uh, if he wants to see the files, he will certainly see the files. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, there has not been one single member of the IUC uh, brought to justice for taking illegal drugs because there simply uh, is no foundation in that statement. Well, I have a friend whose house was raided and the IUC took drugs in. When I say taking drugs, Mr. Adams, I mean consuming them, you silly bastard. I'm not talking about taking them away. Well, that's exactly what I mean, precisely. Um, they raided his house and then consumed the drugs there and then. I fucking seen it. Right, well, Ian Paisley, I take it you're very much against drug taking and all the rest of it. Uh, what do you say to that? Well, uh, it depends on the drug. Uh, I mean, that is, uh, if it's cocaine or it's e-tablets or smack, uh, they, along with heroin, are very strong and dangerous narcotics. Uh, now, if you're talking about cannabis, I would say that uh, uh, cannabis should be legalised because of the comfort and the relaxation you get out of it. Well, obviously you've tried this, Dr. Paisley. Huh? Well, never mind that. I think it's great. In fact, I think the City Hall should issue joints to all party members, except Sinn Féin, that is, before all our meetings. Uh, I think uh, every member should be supplied with a joint. I think you're not talking about bacon joints here either, Dr. Pacey. Now, Jerry Adams, a member of Sinn Féin from London Derry. I mean, we can't mention his name in case we get fucking sued left, right and centre. But he was caught taking drugs. We'll not mention his name. But why was he on drugs? Tell us all that. Well, um... Uh, obviously, that member was under pressure with his job. Um, carrying out knee cabins doesn't come easy. Um, so he had to uh, calm his nerves uh, by taking some um, uh, illegal drugs. Well, I'm sure the victim would have liked to have had some fucking dope also because he got his fucking right leg done as well. But, right, as you know, our guest in tonight is Chris Eubank. Have you ever uh, dabbled in drugs, Chris? Certainly not. I think... Uh, I think... Drugs is a real killer, and anyone who supplies them should get their bollocks knocked in. Well, let me tell you this here, Mr. You Banker Chris. By the sound of you, you've had a fucking ten deal down the back of your neck. You're talking like a wash machine, for God's sake. At least I'm not the width of a white machine. Don't speak to me like that, you black enamel batten rastard. Right, Dr. Pacey, for God's sake, give him a break. Don't think there's any need for that language. Right, gentlemen, John Hume, is the problem of drugs as bad as the press and the media well, I make I think up. there's a few in here taking drugs. Yes, I would say the problem has got out of hand. But some people say if the Lord Mayor's son can take them, then they can take them too. I personally don't touch them. I'm into wine, women and bondage. Mind you, I don't make a habit of getting photographs taken with women whipping my fat arsehole. I just get on with it 
Get on with the job and do it. I don't take drugs. Right, well, Jerry Fit, should all drugs be banned? All illegal ones, that is. Well, uh, I, how long to get a fucking drink of this here uh, gin here? Oh, fuck, I, a bit strong out there. Because <coughs> it would be, there's no coke in it. Um, sorry about that, didn't mean to be ignorant. Um, well, I think they all should be banned. I think they should be banned. Mind you, a lot of Belfast city councillors would miss them badly because a lot of them are taking all that sort of shit inside there and they're talking shit as well instead of talking shop. Ian Paisley, you accused Paul Daniels of uh, taking strong drugs. Why? Well, it's uh, very obvious. Uh, I'm sure you've read in the press reports and heard on the, the televisions. Uh, 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 for him to say that I wasn't a proper minister uh, is an insult. I mean, you can only but hear my religious overtones a mile off. And anybody uh, 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 that uh, knows me knows that I am a very religious minister. And uh, I am going to sue him and the papish BBC. uh, uh, And I will not uh, tolerate him saying that I am not a minister. And he says I'm not a minister, he's not a fucking magician. I just hope he has a healthy bank account, that's all I can say. Well, I see it's a very sore point for you, Dr. Paisley. (laughs) 